So what's unique with the fifth national action plan that we are currently implementing right now is the presence of an of a bottom up approach. Uh, where in our previous uh, national action plans, we initially the government selects the programs or activities or the commitments that they wanted to be part of the action plan, and those commitments is subject uh, subjected to consultations with the with our non government stakeholders across the across the country. And with that, we therefore uh, realize that there is a need for a more citizen, citizen, uh, civil society based uh, commitments. We first do the desk review of the of the findings of on our RIM and on the find on the results of our previous national action plans. So from there. Uh, we, our non-government secretariat, led a discussion, a uh, regional consultation to with with the civil society, the non-government organizations, and asked them what are the uh, priorities or what they think would best help in in prioritizing the national action plan for the Philippines. So the the result of that is the citizens uh, OGP citizens agenda. We identify the government agencies that will best will best implement. The citizens' agenda from the from the citizens, and um, from there, the government provided a response through a draft national action plan. So, from those uh, uh, draft national action plan, we circulated it another to another round uh, another round of civil society consultation across the front across the country across the country, and to subject this to further scrutiny of the citizens. So, uh, I, from there, we think that uh, going through the bottom to the top up approach made us more uh, made, made us realize that this is a more citizens-driven action plan for the country.